Joining me in the studio is Anthony Blake Clark. He is music director of the Baltimore Choral Arts Society, and we're talking about your upcoming 2023-2024 season. Welcome. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me, as always. You've done a really interesting thing by kind of um, trifurcating this season into three sort of separate groups of concerts, and it would be nice to talk a little bit about each. So let's begin with what we normally expect from the Baltimore Choral Arts Society, and you're doing three concerts, and you're beginning with the Brahms German Requiem and the Seven Last Words of the Unarmed. It's a really special concert to me. First of all, I have always loved the music of Brahms. Brahms Requiem, I think, might be the most perfectly constructed choral work in the canon, but... To add Joel Thompson's seven last words of the unarmed and interspersing that between each movement of the Brahms is a really interesting idea to me, and I hope it's thought-provoking. And of course, where would choral arts be without Christmas? You do the show for adults, you do the show for kids, and this has been going on for almost 40 years now, if not more. That's right, and we've been on television for more than 27 years now, and in fact, we've been nominated three times and won a regional Emmy Award for this production, so you don't want to miss it. Tickets do sell out. Christmas with Choral Arts at America's oldest cathedral. It's a sight to behold, and of course, you'll see it on MPT afterwards, but you want to be part of the live audience. And finishing up with two Magnificats, the John Rutter Magnificat, and of course, the J.S. Bach Magnificat. I'm the artistic director of a Bach choir, professional Bach choir in New York, and we are celebrating all year round the 300th anniversary of Bach arriving in Leipzig, which is a huge event in Bach's life. And if it weren't for his appointment as the music director of the city, we wouldn't have most of the church music that we consider to be immortal of Bach's. Uh, So we are going to celebrate here in Baltimore this milestone. We'll, We'll have a little Bach in Christmas with choral arts, but we'll also do the Bach Magnificat, and we'll pair it with Rudder's Magnificat just because it is a nice, nice sing. Tell me a bit about the two concerts of the Discovery series. I really wanted to create a free series in which amateur singers that aren't currently affiliated with choral arts and interested and curious public can come and see what's going on, have sort of a little bit of a no-pressure entree into choral music making. So the first thing that we'll do is a come and sing day where you'll come mid-morning, we'll do a brief rehearsal on the Foray Requiem, which is quite an an approachable, easy sing, and then we'll give a concert in the afternoon. And then the second event that we'll do is a sings festival, a Baltimore sings festival, a citywide choir festival. We did it once last year in partnership with the Deer Creek Chorale. This coming year, we're going to do it in partnership with the Handel Choir of Baltimore. Eight different choirs in one day, but never fear, it's not too long. It's about 75 minutes of music, and it's just a great celebration. We feel connected as we sing together. You'll feel connected. You'll feel like the strands of Baltimore are stronger after this event. It certainly was a great and sold-out event or standing room-only event last year, and I anticipate it will be again this year. And lastly, let's talk about who the chorus is collaborating with this season. We work all around the state, and sometimes in Washington, we very much love our relationships with partner organizations. We'll be with the Baltimore Symphony, we'll be with the National Philharmonic, we'll be with the Naval Academy as they celebrate their 50th anniversary of doing an oratorio week, and we'll be at Strathmore for that doing Britain War Requiem. So we're excited for all of these partnerships and our own self-presented concerts. Anthony Blake Clark is music director of the Baltimore Choral Arts Society. If you'd like to find out more, you can always go to baltimorechoralarts.org or you can also give them a call at 410-523-7070. A pleasure to speak with you and thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck on next season.